Hey, what's up, everyone? I know I'm super late with it, but I still kind of want to talk, talk about the NBA dunk contest this past weekend. I've hear I've heard a lot of uh, feelings about it, and let's just touch on it. First of all, what do you all think about it? Do you think it was just boring? Do you think it was, you know, it was all right? I mean, how do you feel about the dunk contest this year? Um, me, personally, it definitely could have been better. I right, asked a few things. For one, let's just start off with the uh, with the scoring, like the judging. I've never been a, a judge of a dunk contest, right, before. So let me just preface that. It's not like I'm a, you know, I'm a professional at judging dunks or whatever. But I think it needs to be some type of criteria that, you know, each judge follows, like, every year because... The judging is terrible. It's always trash. Like when you when we see a dunk that we never seen before and it gets a lower score <laughs> than something that we've seen before, that's that's kind of crazy. Especially nowadays, it's so many dunks people have done in the past. You had to be real creative to come up with something that's new. And you know, and for me personally, I guess I shouldn't be able to be a a, a judge because. It'd be hard for me to penalize people on something that I never could do like that. And I could dunk back in the day, but not like <laughs> not like that. And people out there judging like, y'all, we see y'all play in the past. Y'all can't do none of that. <laughs> anyway, I just think when it comes to uh, judging, it should be some sort of criteria, you know, um, that's laid out and it has some sort of consistency um, just across the board overall. All right, cool. Two. I remember uh, Stephen A. Smith just putting out there that, you know, they should get these people, these professional dunkers, and um, have an NBA player, you know, to sponsor them, and they can go out there and just dunk, and the dunk contest would be more exciting. I do agree with that. When you, you when you see people out here, the dunks people are doing nowadays, like these dunkers out here, is ridiculous. It would definitely be more exciting than the product that's being presented to us by the NBA now, right? Thing is, for me, I, I don't know. I just don't feel as though, you know, the, the NBA dunk contest has been a staple um, within All-Star Weekend for years, right? And that's an NBA product. And I just don't know if the NBA will give that platform um, to other people, right? So if you... If you have that big stage as the NBA, and this is from a business perspective, I don't know, this is just you know, me thinking. When you have that big, big stage like that, and you bring other people in there that's kind of unknown to the world, and you have the NBA dunk contest is what's been your thing for years, and you bring outsiders in, you're going to give them that platform, and people are going to go to them more so than the NBA to uh to look at dunks that's what i think i don't know this is a theory of mine I, i'm just not sure the nba would allow that but i think it's a good idea stephen a smith also said that um lebron ruined the dunk contest being that he was like the the first superstar high flyer like household name that never participated in the contest um you know what i i can't say he ruined it but I definitely feel as though there is uh, a lot of influence when it comes along with that. And I just think just in general, just the culture of basketball in general has changed. I mean, I think these jokers are just getting a lot of money. And, like, when you're getting a lot of money, it's like, I don't really need to do that. I'm, I'm cool. I'm, 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 I'm good. You know, and that may be, that may be a, a, a story or a discussion for another time, but... Man, I, I think that has a lot to do with it, too. Um, also, let me ask you all this. Do you all think that the dunk contest can be saved? Can the NBA save it? Me, personally, it would be back next year if just one superstar get into it. Like, kudos for Jalen Brown, all right, like, for getting into the contest. But come on, bro. Like, there's <laughs> no way, there's no way that you thought there's no way that you watched any of the past uh, contests and thought that you was going to do those dunks and it was going to, you know, you was going to win. It was just, it was mid dunks by far. But 
the scores he got, it made me think, is it was it political, right? Was it one of those things where it's like, okay, he's a bigger name, one of the bigger names we had as of late. If we treat him right, maybe other superstars were like, you know what? I get pretty good treatment there, so maybe we can try to, you know, get a superstar to come out here by the way we treated Jalen Brown with his scores and stuff. I don't know because he shouldn't have been in the finals. But kudos for him for bringing a name there, a bigger name there. And, yeah, like I said, it would change next year. Next year it's just like if Ja, if ja was to get in there or just Zion would, would get in dunk contests, it's going up. But they don't have that type of desire. So where does that mindset come from? You know, um, but overall, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't too um excited about this past dunk contest. It just hasn't been the same in a while. And just overall competitiveness hasn't been the same when it comes to All Star Weekend, just in general. Um so y'all let me know what you all think about the dunk contest. You think it was good, bad, indifferent? Uh, you think it's something that people could change? I mean, we could change. Like, what are some ideas you all may have that would help it be that staple? Or do you think they should just scrap it and just get rid of it all together? Let me know what you all think. I appreciate you all watching. I'm out of here. All right? Peace.